Hello everyone, how are you? I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Welcome to my channel General Hospital, official 24 and new video your favorite TV drama General Hospital. Subscribe to my channel for more new episodes of General Hospital and new news. It is possible that Esme Prince, the villainous character on General Hospital, is hiding a massive secret that will shake Port Charles to its very foundations on the daytime drama that airs on ABC. On General Hospital, Esme Prince is utterly irrational. Recently, on General Hospital, Nicholas Cassadine, played by Adam Huss, left with infant Ace Cassadine, who is a member of the Clay Twins. The character of Esme Prince, played by Avery Kristen Pohl, is furious with Spencer Cassadine, played by Nicholas Chavez, since he allowed his abusive father to steal her tot. But may there be a truly epic turn of events in store for General Hospital. I would want to discuss a potential solution that the ABC soap opera may perhaps implement in order to make this daddy predicament even more dramatic and soapy. Now let's take a look at what you would consider to be an unanticipated obstacle in Nick's plans, as well as Spencer's. A huge turn of events are you here to watch General Hospital. A number of followers have expressed their sincere desire that Nicholas is not the father of baby Ace in comments that date back more than a million years. There is a widespread consensus that he is the offspring of Spencer Cassidine. In the first place, I would like to explain why, given the history of General Hospital that is now known, it is just not conceivable at this point in time. Following that, we are going to discuss the ease with which they may modify the situation in order to make it true. Trina Robinson, played by Tabiana Ali, was the one who insisted that Spencer refrain from taking the role of daddy to his brother Ace. This was the primary reason why Spencer felt comfortable with his decision. In order to stop him from playing house with his ex-girlfriend, she issued him an ultimatum, and Spencer ultimately agreed to comply with it. On the other hand, at that point, he believed that Esmond Prince on General Hospital was nothing more than a harmless amnesiac. There is no longer any room for doubt now that Esme has regained her memories, as Spencer is absolutely confident of. That being the case, this is one of the reasons why Spencer allowed Nicholas to take the child. Nicholas is the lesser of two evils in Spencer's eyes. He is not even close to being as awful as Esme. Additionally, he is Ace's biological guardian. Nevertheless, what if he wasn't? Are Esme and General Hospital keeping a huge secret from each other? Is it possible to fathom what Spencer would do if he discovered, after he had allowed Nick to kidnap Ace, that Esme has been concealing a much more significant secret? Since shortly before she gave birth to her younger child, she has been suffering from forgetfulness. So there is a possibility that there is anything in her memories that the audience is unaware of. On the other hand, based on what we do know, Spencer is not the father. When it came to General Hospital, Spencer would not touch Esme. Also, in case you don't remember, Spencer continued to date Esme despite the fact that he had fallen head over heels in love with Trina. It was during this time that Esme engaged in the act of retaliatory pornography, recording Jocelyn Jacks, played by Eden McCoy, and Cameron Weber, played by William Lipton. After that, be sure you send it to everyone at PCU. And if you remember well, Ezen was the one who set up Trina, who was currently facing a trial and the possibility of jail time. Spencer maintained his relationship with Ezen so that he could check her belongings and be in close proximity to her in order to gather proof that would exonerate Trina. His plot was unsuccessful, and she was saved by the testimony of eyewitnesses. It was only years later that Trina discovered that Spencer was truly on her side and doing everything in his power to clear her record. Of course, she was unaware of this until much later. Now, do you recall when Spencer was going through her belongings and discovered the pills that she had been using to give Trina her doses? A few letters written by her nanny, Maggie, were also discovered by him. Then, after the verdict of the trial was in favor of Trina, Spencer abruptly ended his relationship with Esme. As a result of Esm fulfilling her father's directives and seducing Nicholas a couple of months before the conclusion of the trial, she became pregnant during this interim period. In addition, she had not had a sexual encounter with Spencer for a considerable amount of time prior to that. In light of everything that is known about General Hospital, it is undeniable that the child in question is Nicholas. However, 
General Hospital could simply undo all of that by doing one thing, and that would be to make Baby Ace the son of Spencer, rather than Nicholas. All that would be required is a single scene from the past. Retcon retcon on General Hospital does this mean that Spencer is the father? Recall that Esme was in possession of the medications that she had given to Trina on the night that she recorded the covert sex tape, not to mention the fact that Trina was completely out of it and eventually passed out. It would not be difficult for General Hospital to create a flashback sequence in which Esme put those drugs on Spencer and sexually assaulted him. They may demonstrate that she was upset that Spencer was ignoring her, and that she ultimately made the decision to force him to give her what she desired because of this. It would be possible to accomplish this by recording just one scenario. In addition, if they moved in this direction, it would be a really interesting situation. In the event that the writers of General Hospital are truly interested in twisting things, there is one definite way to do so. Being on her way out, Esma. Additionally, given that it appears that they are not planning to keep Nicola's around, why not switch the paternity so that Ace can remain in town and have a father figure? As soon as possible, Esm must be departing from Port Chuck. She will be forced to flee or face the possibility of serving time in prison once it is widely known that she has regained her memories. Moreover, we might have Ace with Spencer and Trina all together. I have to admit, however, that despite the fact that I believe it would be a fantastic idea to switch the paternity of baby Ace, I do not believe that they are going to do it. However, if they so desired, they could accomplish it by reliving that brief flashback scene that I just described. In only a few minutes, they could film it and completely destroy all of the paternity crap that has been going on. Could you really fathom the level of shock that would be experienced by Spencer if Esm were to inform him that he had just given his son to the father who had neglected him and did not raise him properly? What a disaster it would be. It would be so soapy and watery. It is my understanding that Spencer would not permit Nicholas to cultivate even a houseplant that belonged to him, let alone the child. Spencer is acting somewhat arrogant due to the fact that he allowed Nicholas to steal Ace. Additionally, despite the fact that I am not a fan of Esma, I believe that it would be rather amusing if she were to reveal the father of the kid, which would cause him to lose his smug look. Do I believe that it would make for a fantastic storyline, indeed? Do I believe that General Hospital will go to that location? Sadly, the answer is no, nevertheless, there is always hope. In order to determine whether or not Esm lied about Nick being the father of her son, you should not miss a single minute of the ABC soap series. The world that Spencer lives in would be completely turned upside down.